In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix SK Launcher crashing. Now, there's multiple different reasons why this could be happening. And the first thing you want to do is you want to open up SK Launcher, then please locate the installation that is giving you this issue. So for this video, let's go ahead and work with this one right over here called Forge 1.21.8. And all you want to do is you want to select on these three dots, and then you want to go ahead and press on Edit Installation. From here, where it says versions, please confirm that over here that the version with the star is actually selected and that typically indicates that it is the most stable one. So it could be that you're on the wrong version. So make sure that you're on the one with the star just like so. And then go ahead and select on more options over here and make sure that it does fit like your screen and stuff like that. And you also want to allocate more RAM as well. So it is automatically going to be set to four gigabytes. But if you're running some really intense mods or mod packs, then you may need to go ahead and increase it. And I recommend increasing it to basically however much ram you have on your system so me personally i have eight gigabytes worth of ram so i'm just going to go ahead and select on that and then from there go ahead and see if that does work and if you guys have been finding this video helpful so far consider checking out our partners over at simple game hosting simple game hosting offers affordable and high quality minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to make a 24 7 unlimited slot server for you and your friends What's great about Simple Game Hosting is that they actually specialize in creating modded servers. So if you ever wanted to play any mod or even mod pack from like CurseForge or anything like Pixelmon, Cobblemon, etc., you can do so easily thanks to Simple Game Hosting. On top of that, they have dozens of video tutorials and 24-7 live customer support where you can ask a Minecraft server expert any question at any point throughout the day. And at the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of Minecraft server hosting. So guys, if you ever wanted to make a server now is the perfect chance and if you're interested the link is in the description down below and in the pinned comments all right that's enough yapping on me so let's go ahead and continue and also make sure to verify and update java because sk launcher requires java 21 in order to run properly especially for minecraft versions 1.17 or above so please make sure you have the most recent and up-to-date version of java and what you guys could always do is look up java download oracle just like so then go to the official oracle.com website then make sure that jdk21 is selected because that is java 21 and then go ahead and download it for your operating system so if you're on a windows then you would go ahead and select on windows and then install the x64 installer right over here so again it's really important that you actually do have java 21 if you haven't updated java in a while that is definitely something that could be playing a factor so another thing you want to do is you want to check for any antiviruses firewall and permissions so security software often blocks java or sk files from launching so please make sure you disable any like antiviruses temporarily and firewalls make sure to go ahead and disable any antiviruses and stuff like that because that is incredibly important and lastly please make sure to update all of your drivers that is incredibly important so please if you haven't updated your like graphics drivers please go ahead and do so but if you guys have any other ideas or suggestions please let me know in the comment section down below so that you're able to go ahead and help other people if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial